Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm joined here by Nick this evening to pick our st uh, favourite starting 11, 11 even for the Wales game on Thursday. Uh, almost unthinkable really to try and predict the Martin O'Neill team but look let's try and pick our favourite team and judging by Nick's all these quirky teams that he picks on Pundit Arena etc um, we'll no doubt have a bit of fun along the way um, let's get started in no doubt when O'Neill picks his team but, but uh, he's famous an hour before kick off he'll pull some rabbit out of a tree someplace and it'll be it'll be crazy and it'll, it'll even be more negative let's pick <laughs> our preferred starting 11 mm -hmm. Keeper is probably the easiest one of the lot um, particularly the, the choice that we have probably Randolph for me you, any disagreements yeah we go, go for Randolph uh, again I can't see Doyle or McDermott getting in there great to see McDermott in the squad um, mm -hmm. tracked him a little bit I think there was a bit of bit of word on him maybe coming into the squad a few months ago so it's, it's good to see him coming in but yeah Randolph hands down yeah right um, I suppose what Martin O'Neill wants to do and what we want to do are probably two <laughs> different things but yeah. the defensive line here is probably going to put the structure really on the team mm. I'm probably leaning towards just because I don't think it's our best position I think it's just because we have to make use of the resources that we have yeah. I think we need to go with a back three yeah. Um, yeah and try and get some of those centre halves in there so I'll let you yeah. I'll let you shout away yeah no I agree because if you look at the last I mean if you look at the, the Turkish game and the US game he, he's played three at the back and um, that kind of comes into a, a flat five as the game picks on <laughs> yeah so um yeah I think to make the most of what we have yeah he has to do that because if you look at our, our two biggest attack, attacking threats in the squad it's probably Seamus Coleman and uh, James McLean and you know that's a per it's the perfect position for McLean sorry for Coleman and McLean I think he will grow into that like he's very aggressive good defensively I actually prefer him in a deeper position rather than the final third yeah so. and like we we spoke about at length really on and off various shows yeah. over the last couple of months especially McLean you know is he good enough to be in the team should he be dropped I, what I would say is I think in an ideal world, he would be the impact sub because I think that's where we're going to get the best out yeah. of him. But if he is to start, I think wing back potentially mm -hmm. is his best position. As you yeah. said, you need him running from deeper. You mm -hmm. need him where he's just he sees a channel in front of yeah, him. He's, yeah. he's running into that, and mm -hmm. he almost doesn't have to think. And it's just his pace mm -hmm. and aggression and everything that yeah. goes into play. Yeah. It's when he's these subtle things around the box. So, look, let's pick our our centre halves. Yeah. Um, I'll start it off. Long gets in there for me. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you shout ahead after this. Uh, Clark, I suppose, yeah. left left yeah. of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the third one. I I go Duffy. Duffy right of Long. I think it's just a better better on the ball than, than Long. Yeah, like well, d d like Duffy has turned into almost a player that you didn't really think would. But fair play to Chris Uden. He's got him into a very accomplished. Mm. Um, I'd almost say ball playing centre half now at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's he's gone. He looks so composed. Mm. Arguably one of the best centre halves in the in the in the league, definitely on four man was and yeah. even throwing a bit of Irish bias with it. Yeah. So you could in theory see him push on if we wanted to from the yeah, right hand yeah. side. But mm. either way, that really is probably the strongest line of our, our team then at the mm. moment. Um mm. it's it's after that when the fun starts. So yeah. I, I think like if we're going the three, we've pretty much said Coleman's the a shoe in for a right wing. Yeah, yeah. Argument so. for Stevens, but probably Coleman needs to get the nod for now. Yeah, I think so. And then I know Ward. Ward played on the wing for Burnley in, in Europe yes, a few weeks ago, which, which, one, which was which is strange. Yeah. So, you know, he, he can maybe slot in there. But I think McLean, I think when Brady's back, he'd be absolutely it's a perfect, ideal. A perfect yeah, role for Absolutely Bailey's ideal for, for, for kind of left wing back. But yeah, I think So we have yeah. Coleman and we have McLean left wings. Yeah. Into the middle of the pitch, are you gonna go? But a bit of flair in it, or are you gonna 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 shore up? Do you need a six <laughs> with three holding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a back three. Marner is, is probably gonna go for one. Um, mm -hmm. what would your preferred choice be in terms of holding midfielders? I I I'd say just one anchoring. Uh, I think think against Turkey he went for two, and then against the US he went for he went for <laughs> Declan Rice. <laughs> yeah, let, let's yeah, not yeah. even go but, there. Um, I I think Myler's gonna come in there. I think Myler's gonna hold. Um. I don't really know who else would play holding midfield in that squad. Uh, argument for maybe Sean Williams, but mm, that's a bit, a bit much, yeah, isn't it? I think even him getting in the squad is a, is a bit of a push. So, um, so yeah, we have we've Myler ahead <laughs> after this. Henrik surely gets in. Henrik, I think on the right. Um, you know, if you look at him coming through the ranks of Derby, his best position was kind of on the right of a midfield three. I don't think he's gotten too many opportunities to do that for Ireland. Uh, he's usually kind of put on, put on kind of in the right wing and mm -hmm. kind of as a number 10 where he's played for Burnley. But um, he's able to he's able to do the defensive work and he's also able to just burst forward. So I, I like Hendrick there. Um, so I'd like to see him hopefully get the nod there. The other side then, 
probably three Alan Brown perhaps. Yeah, I, I think I think on form and I think on minutes, uh, Brown will get the nod. I mean, Hurren is, I think, an impact sub in in O'Neill's view, but he's also played him as kind of the anchor in midfield and I don't think Horhen is quick enough for that or mobile yeah, enough that's a bit of a struggle I think that's yeah. a stretch too far particularly mm. like you've got to you know got to think about the opposition yeah. and they really are going to go heavy mm -hmm. they've so many players that play in between in yeah. the last those two last lines pretty much mm. you have Alan who loves to zip in and out Ramsey mm. loves to zip in and out even Bale to be fair he can zip in and out there as well mm. so I think I think I think Huron just sitting is almost it's, a recipe yeah, for disaster yeah if you're going to play him anyway anywhere he's to he's to play on the left of a three I think so it'd be nice balance with him and uh, Hendrick but I think given given Brown's form I don't I don't fancy Brown at this level and I hope I'm speaking too soon because I think he could either be phenomenal but going on the French look it might be a good match to go on but going on the French match I thought he looked completely out of his depth yeah uh, was, look world true. champions so that's fair enough yeah fair enough but um, I, I, I think I think looking really good in the championship and looking really good in an Irish jersey is, is two completely different things I like Brown but yeah scored again at the weekend as yeah. well so yeah it's a, it's a toss up really. I would probably lean towards Brown as well yeah yeah we might probably agree with that then up front it's where we're really really diminished in terms of options yeah I, I think if you look at the modern kind of um, five at the back or three at the back, if you look at Belgium in the World Cup and England, they play kind of a winger, so Hazard and Sterling alongside the striker. <laughs> so I think when Robbie Brady comes back, that could be a, a nice little position for him to drop deep. Perhaps. Um, yeah. And then if you look at Callum Robinson, he's played that kind of, he's played wide, he's played behind the striker, he's played in front, so he could play that support. I think O'Neill's going to go for Burke um, with Walters, like the US game. Uh, just because he plays a little bit deeper I, yeah, yeah I, uh, mm. Walters I don't know I, I, don't, I don't really seem to dish mm -hmm. the guy that's put so much server service mm -hmm. and blood sweat and tears and all of the love and he was in, in an age where we question commitment yeah, to the jersey yeah. to the team etc there's one thing you can't say about him he's always made himself available mm -hmm. he always worked his socks off he's often had that graveyard shift at the right where he's expected to, yeah, yeah. to run up and down and back and forth mm -hmm. and he's done it and he's shut up but if we really are trying to build our team and having him as a centre point, I think we're it's another sign of how we're going to struggle. Yeah. Now I think I think going forward, um, again Shane Long is in, is, is much better. But I I can see Bamford coming in again. He's not in the best of form at the moment. Does anyone really fancy him? Uh, I hope so because I think another option is no harm. <laughs> but again, he's not he's not doing too well at least at the moment, even under Bielsa and. Um, Again, Robinson, if he if he comes on and makes an impression on on Thursday, he could be he could be more of a focal point. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it's very much an opportunity for yeah. someone like the likes of Robinson to come on. You know, yeah. no fear, out to make an impression. Yeah. Just recently, got all the documentation and whatnot in in order. So, yeah. him coming on, making his debut, could be could be like this could be hit or miss. You know, we've seen players come in and done very well at the start, get a goal, early goal, and then that yeah. develops their career. So who knows? It'd be. Lord knows we need a yeah we I need a bit of positivity. Yeah. Sean McGuire is to come back, and I think he's uh, you know I think I think going forward he's probably going to be our centre forward. Um, having said Burke will probably play. It doesn't mean <laughs> it doesn't mean I I want him to play. I think do you remember what I said about kind of the winger playing up front? I think Colin O'Dowda could could do well in a little free roll behind maybe yeah maybe the the, 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 the Robles, struggling yeah. thing really is in the Martin O'Neill team if you have someone playing that role mm. it's fine in club football where you're playing a bit of attacking football yeah, yeah. but with Martin O'Neill they just get dragged back and, yeah, the yeah. and it's just pump 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 yeah yeah, um, yeah that's the only concern I would have I do like that idea um, and I think I think Erland could do very well mm. there but I will I'd probably go for Burke I think he he's on that level of yeah, positivity yeah. that we spoke around mm. and. Ultimately, it has to be Walters after that. Almost sadly, yeah. but he's the only centre. Yeah. Well, Robinson's playing centre forward at the moment, but he's more of a wide man. So, yeah, probably Walters. I think. I think. Actually, I think if Aldeo is going to play, he might play on the left of that midfield because that's where he played against the US. Kind of a, not really his position, but O'Neill seems to fancy him. Yeah, as there a we go. Midfielder, which there is go. which well, is a bit worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Well, that's been our preferred uh, um, starting level. Who knows what Martin O'Neill will come out with um, Thursday. Um, very interested to see what your comments are to this. What, who would you like in the team? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, interact with us. Uh, follow us on all our social media platforms. And uh, try and enjoy the game. And let's hope, despite all the doom and gloom, we will get a win. And this team will hopefully be good enough to do that. Thanks, Nick, for joining us. No worries, yeah. um, thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll talk to you all very soon. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button now. And if you never want to miss a video, click the bell for alerts.
For all our other social media platforms, check out this list below. And as always, thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.